I got a four here. It's pretty darn low. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I see gold. I think I see a gold earring right here. Well, another day, another beach. Got off work a little bit early. Gonna go out and see if we can find anything. We did have pretty good size wind, rain, and waves last night. There is a guy out there surfing way out there. Looks like it's only one guy out. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, yeah, gonna head down that way, most likely, and uh, see if we can find anything. Hoping that uh, we had a cut for him last night. And uh, if so, maybe because of the weather, I might uh, have a jump start. Um, I let the guys know that I was gonna be down here, so we'll see if anybody else follows suit. It was crazy enough. Oh, we got one down there. I see somebody metal detecting down, down the way. All right. Oh. Boy, he is digging a big hole way down there. Well, hopefully he's getting something good. I think we're going to go to the south, which is that way. I actually see another guy way down there too. But I do have a pretty not sounding great, negative two, low tone. Still down there. Kind of has a little bit of a Ooh, seven, eight. That is nice and low. Oh, uh, is that what it is? <laughs> it's the back of a stainless steel watch back. Um, I can't really read the brand, the brand on it, but stainless steel watch back. Trying to fill this hole in and keep going. <clears throat> I'm at pretty much low tide right now, so theoretically a good time to be here. I'm pretty sure it's my buddy Ted. Ah, oh, I like this guy. He is super cool, and he gets a lot of gold. So he must he must be hitting a nice spot because he's got a bunch of digging done in one little area. I just ran into my buddy Ted. He he's been digging lots of coins. This sounds like oh, <laughs> Ted's already been here. I just dug into that hole, and uh, it's already been dug. I see something really bizarre down here. It sounds like a like it could be gold. I'm sure it is not. It is the right color, but I think it's going to be. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's a shotgun head stamp. Man, that sounded good. Yeah, this is a mid tone, 34. Well, now it's 28 to 31, but. Still pretty darn high for anything really good. <clears throat> kind of in a lobulite pull tab range. You can see somebody's been down here earlier today and see a ton of dig marks. So I'm sure I'm late to the party. 31 still. Yeah, I have found rings at 31. Sounds amazing. I'm thinking aluminum or zinc penny or, oh, it's part of a key. I can see it right here. Yeah, part of a key. I got a really, really low tone and I think it's gonna be a junk. 
It is. I just saw that sticking out, <laughs> but you can see the copper on the side. But hey, it's jewelry. We'll put it in the we'll put it in the cup. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance that's going to be uh, anything good. But hey, it's uh, so far the first piece of jewelry I've found. I found a couple zinc pennies, and uh, not a heck of a lot much more. The beach has definitely had a lot of change in uh, sand, not for the better, in my opinion. Sure, there's stuff here i'm just not finding it get a lot of blobulites a lot of burnt up aluminum so yeah we'll fill this one in and we will keep going all right this sounds great negative 17 to negative 19 giving just a tiny bit of a low end growl mm. Doesn't sound nearly as good now that it's out. Sounds really small. And you can see a tiny bit of copper right here. Tiny copper in my sand. Drives me crazy as much as I can. There you go. That was my Don Ho interpretation. Now metal detecting's not great out here, but check the shell out. How cool is that? That is one cool looking shell. Look at that. Huh. Kind of stoked on that. A big, beautiful clam. There you go. Well, here's a scenic shot. Again, not, uh, not really great metal detecting in, uh, in the regular spot. I see a couple guys have started work in the area that uh, my buddy Ted was on. I'm gonna head that way too, so hopefully they don't mind company. Way, way, way down there's a black dot. That's a guy metal detecting. Same spot Ted was at, so see if I know the guy. I'm pretty sure that's Jim down there. Pretty certain that's who that is. Just because of how he sweeps. I think that's my buddy Jim. Oh, there's my buddy Jim. <laughs> All right, all right, back on the beach. In a different spot, I haven't hit here in a long time. Um, it tends to work better in a south swell, coming that direction this way, and um, usually doesn't get much of a cut on a north or northwest swell. It tends to get uh, kind of uh, sanded in, but I just haven't looked here in a long time, and I figured, you know, I might as well go look someplace different as I've been hitting the same areas quite a bit lately. So we'll kind of see, you know, if there's anything. It might be, you may never see this video because it's that bad. Even those I try to show you though, even the really bad ones, usually I'll at least show you somewhat because there's a lot of days I come out here and find absolutely nothing or almost absolutely nothing. And today may be one of those days. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Sand, I can already tell you does not look great. Um, we did have massive rains and that's a river right there. So oftentimes that river will Have a lot of sand come out and fill this area in and like I said, it gets really sanded in So there's a good chance a very good chance. that There's absolutely nothing here and uh, I Just kind of want to go down and check it out. I have only a couple hours to to play today, so um, if I look to the south, it does look like way on the other side of the river, there may have actually been some sand movement, which is part of why I wanted to come down here as well, is to see if that area down there did anything. So uh, we're going to walk around. They're doing a huge sand replenishment program down there. So unfortunately, most of the sand is new going south. Well, I have a strange feeling I wasn't the only one to think about it. I think there's uh, been a couple holes that have been filled in around here, so it does not look good. There is a little bit of a cut, but it's really soft up here, so I'm going to probably only walk for a couple more minutes and then maybe head south and see if there's anything that's been moved around there. Okay, it should be out. Um, maybe not a tent stake, maybe just a big piece of iron. Well, oh, it's flat iron. That's why it started to sound pretty good. Oh, huge hole to fill in. 
<clears throat> By the way, I'm wearing shoes right now. That should tell you how uh, the conditions are. They're not to my liking. I like to be down there in the wet stuff. And uh, this is not the wet stuff, in my opinion. Some people would call this the wet. I call it the uh, slope. Because it's kind of below a cut, but it's just not much out here. So, I'll walk around for a few more minutes and we'll probably beat rocks and go someplace else. There's your, uh, there's your view. Not too many people on the beach today. Well, looks like great minds think alike. See another guy over there metal detecting. Seeing a, he's doing the dry, which is not my gig. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if he's nice. See if I know him. We'll see if he's nice then, and we'll see how he's doing. But I'm planning on going up and over, and hopefully find a little bit of a low spot. And uh, we'll see how the. Uh, huge sand replenishment if you look at all these trucks and stuff a lot of this is new sand so i don't have great high hopes but down there might be a little bit of cut and i'm in the middle of what could be described as the worst conditions ever but i think i may actually see a ring right here um is that what that is oh maybe it's an earring i think it's a junk earring but still not expecting it to be jewelry at all <laughs> yeah i think it's a junk earring yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I am pretty sure that's junk. You know what? That actually might be gold. <laughs> that would be weird. I'm not kidding. It, it, it's horrible here, but I think it's actually polishing up. And I'm looking at the post, and the post looks like gold. Boy, I am. I'm wondering if I just got a gold earring. I really am. Look at that. That is really weird. You gotta be kidding me if that is. It's funny, a guy was, look at that. It is shining up like nobody's business. I think I may have just gotten, maybe, possibly, a gold earring. It's really light. But uh, maybe. Huh. That's wild. Really weird. It is just polishing right up. I don't think that's brass. I really don't. Huh. Boy, how weird is that if that is? Well, I wasn't filming. It sounded really horrible in the hole, and then it came out. It's actually a little piece of copper. Still junk, but should have filmed it. Uh, that's funny. This guy was telling me he just saw a watch out here, and sure enough, he wasn't lying. There's actually a watch laying right here. Um, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's full of water. But it is a watch. That's funny. Look at that. A lot of water inside there. I don't think it's a very nice watch. I think it's kind of junk. Yeah, it says made, made in China on the back of it. So, junk watch, but that's funny. <laughs> that guy alerted me to it. I'm going to turn this on just just in case anyway it's a 24 down there i'm guessing it's going to be aluminum of some sort but now it's a negative one now it's 22 to 39 how's that for a bit of a swing the thing i really don't like about the 900 is that it can vary quite drastically now it's a 35 now, if it were a ring, it'd be a big ring, but I'm kind of thinking 41. I'm going to think it's going to be a piece of aluminum or a blobby right. Huh. Boy, it's making me work for it kind of good sign that it's deep maybe it's something good okay should be out 39 
really high, probably a zinc penny. It's just destroyed. Uh, I think I see, is that part of a key maybe? Um, I don't know what that was, Some, something copper. With a hole in it. All right, for those who say I don't fill in my holes, <laughs> Uh, that hole is officially filled. We got a negative one here. Oh, now it's a 48. It was a negative one. Still a 48. Okay, I may have just hit something. Never hit, isn't it? Still in there. Else? Here's it might be on the side. Forty nine. You can see a pull tab. One of those old weird ones maybe yep really weird old pull tab <laughs> i just dug this out. i swear i just need to start filming i'm sure this is junk um yeah i'm pretty sure it's copper but that is a chain <laughs> i didn't even film that either gosh I just had no faith that it was anything of any value whatsoever there you go little chain got a high toner here it sounds like a zinc penny I'm thinking more likely a bigger piece of aluminum 56 to 60 now it's a solid 55 hmm. pretty piercingly high which is interesting kind of thinking zinc penny not seeing zinc penny there it is right there it is a zinc penny now well, it's coin so there's that got a slam and 35 right here again probably too high to be uh, anything good probably aluminum super loud uh, i think it's a pull tab yeah it's a uh, old ring pull a little bit of gold on the bottom of it <laughs> all right back on the beach it is a weekend so the beach is relatively crowded a lot of surfers um i know the waves were big yesterday they've actually kind of dropped a bit today santa catalina island out there looking absolutely beautiful a lot of big ships at anchor one there one there actually it's not a lot i guess there's like three or four of them um and uh I hardly ever hunt here. I don't hunt here very often. And uh, Jim and the guys came out here yesterday and they had a pretty good day out here. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I may or may not be out here long. Um, supposed to go to lunch with uh, my wife and my son. So it may be a very short video. You may never even see this video. We don't know. But if you do, <laughs> that means I might have found something. So there should hopefully be the residual end of what was left of a cut. At least there was yesterday for the guys, so we'll see. Well, the waves do look really pretty good. There's guys, uh, I just saw two guys catch really good waves while I'm walking out here, so I'll uh, leave you guys on for a minute, see if we can catch a, a wave or two. A couple guys paddling, it's a much smaller wave right there. And yeah, guys on it, not great looking. There's a little bit of a cut. Not a lot. I look down that way. Jim was saying down at the south end of the cut was pretty good yesterday, so we'll try down there. All right, first target, 10 stake out of that hole. I might have a high tone in here. Kind of sound like a 10 stake. Really high, so. Um, oh, it's actually a quarter. There you go. We do have. Our first coin is a quarter.
I think I have another high tone maybe right here. In the 90s, I'm going to start trying to show and now it's a negative 18 to 98, so it probably is actually iron. Maybe a 10 stake. Show you guys my VDI. Theoretically, it's in. Uh, oh, now it's actually maybe a quarter. 87. Let's see if I can get it before this wave does. Another quarter. There we go. Get it out of that scoop. And that was an 87. Uh, it started as both iron, a negative 19 and a 98. So again, can't always trust your VDIs out here. All right, this one should be all all iron it's a negative 12 oh see right there it is another 10 stick okay, this one sounds like it might be legitimate you guys can see the vi negative 19 to 89 but there also may be iron right next to a decent target it just kind of it had that sound like it might be a decent high tone And it really kind of is acting like a decent high tone. And when I say high tone, you know, I obviously would love to give you an exact reading on it. There's definitely iron in that hole, but I'm going to see if there's something in my scoop already. Yep, there is. There's a dime. So that's, I'm hearing, see all that negative 19? So this dime was being uh, masked by the uh the iron oh big wave big wave gotta hold my equipment all right trying to show you guys my finds in the sunlight may be a little dangerous so we'll keep trying well, i see a zinc penny laying right there and it looks like a spendable one as well came up at 62 i think that's going to be spendable all right i got a high tone 8081 hoping you guys saw that on the VDI should be in the scoop and I think it's gonna be a dime big giant wave yep and there is a dime in the scoop and I'm trying to find a way to show you these things in the sunlight without losing my equipment so Bear with me. There you go, another dime. Okay, this whole area here is covered in nails and iron, uh, tent stakes and whatnot, but I'm having to kind of search in between them for decent targets, and I think, I think I heard something right in the middle of a bunch of it right here. So hopefully, hopefully, I think it's gonna be a zinc penny to be honest with you, but I'm hoping I heard right that there was actually a target in between. Yep, and there was a zinc penny right in the middle of all that iron, so. Again, trying to find stuff in the middle of all these things. Oh, big wave, huge wave. Man. <laughs> all right. I think I got a quarter here, maybe. Again, it was mixed in with a lot of other tones, so I think, I uh, thought it was a quarter. It is a quarter, yep. A yellowish, greenish quarter. I will say this, I'm not disappointed. Jim told me this little hill was loaded with iron and that there were targets in between it. So, um, uh, Jim, you get full credit for telling me about this. Whole hill is just iron, 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 iron. And then all of a sudden you hear a little bit of a high tone in the middle of it. I'd like to start hearing some low and mid tones, but I know Jim went through here and got a lot of gold yesterday. Ooh. Huge 
set of waves coming, so hopefully whatever this is stays there. Okay, come on. Are we working between the waves? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe? I don't know if I got it or not, to be totally honest with you. find it again. Oh, there it is, right there. Piece of wire. Sounded unbelievable. Okay, I think there's another zig penny right here. Probably should stop turning it off. Well, now it's a food. Oh, come on, really? Now it's 92 to 97, and I'm sorry, guys, I can't get the camera to focus on the detector so I can show you the BDIs right now. It's just not conducive to uh, that. Uh, it is a zinc penny, boy. That thing was all over the place. It was mimicking a quarter and a even higher. Oh, uh, there's multiple things out here. Okay, here's one thing right here. That is part of some glasses. And I got a four here. It's pretty darn low, but it does sound good. I think I see gold. I think I see a gold earring right here. I am pretty certain that that's going to be a gold earring. Look at that, you guys. All right. We've got gold. That is welcome, welcome news, my friends. Um, yeah, small, small gold earring. Pretty certain. I can't see any markings, but it sure it sure looks like a it's a very small gold earring. All right, 64, 62 to 64. Probably a nice clean zinc penny. That's what I think. Let's see. That's what it is. Oh, wait, is that a copper penny? No, it's a zinc penny, isn't it? Yeah, it's a zinc penny. Here's another one. Definitely a... All right, I think that's our high tone right there, maybe. Okay, it should theoretically be the scoop. Still haven't gotten a nickel, though. There's a dime in the scoop, so I did pull that out between those ten, two ten skates, in between the two ten stakes. I think that's my first copper penny, maybe? It is. All right. Well, another dime in the ocean is threatening to take all my equipment away, so I'm going to have to do it as best I can. All right, another dime. brass fitting or something in here. I think that's what that is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a brass. Let's see what I think are threads. Might be a bullet though, actually. You know, I'll have to clean it up when we get home. It actually may be a bullet, to be totally honest with you. Where the, you know, the bullet shell is rotted away. I'm kind of thinking bullet the more I'm looking at it. I see a silver earring, a very small silver earring. You can tell it's silver because it's purpley. And uh, yeah, that'll mean that I have silver and gold. 
There you go. Tiny silver, but silver nonetheless. I think this is more sunglass uh, earpiece. Got a working hinge? I think it does. Well, maybe not. Yeah, the hinge is frozen. All right, there's another dime. Yeah, it's another dime. Still no nickel. Now, I'm pretty certain that this is junk. Um, I'm not seeing any gold on it at all. I'd be willing to bet that was a, some sort of a junk ring or pendant, but got some bling. Well, another piece of uh, junk jewelry. I think that was like a nose ring maybe or something? I don't know. All right, tide's finally going out. Got a copper penny. 1977. All right, I see my nickel right there. 28. Negative one to 28. <laughs> Gotta love the 900, but it is a nickel. So you know what that guys? What, <clears throat> you know what that means, guys? I got the cycle finally. Took me forever to find that nickel. Well, my battery's totally died, so I just had to replace it. But I got this. It looks like a quarter, but it's actually, and I think it's stainless steel. Um, I don't know if that's Russian. It's definitely some sort of foreign coin. I have to look into it more. Um, it's two something, but it's it's absolutely like sounds like stainless steel. Um, really crazy, like low, almost iron uh, grunt. Interesting. I got a high tone right here, but a 14 to 16 right here. 14 to 16s. And now it's a negative 17. I'm hoping it's not another bobby pin. Those things have been getting me all day. Still down there. Nope, it just hit something. Uh, there it is. Stainless steel fork is what that is. And boy, did I nail it. There you go. Anybody hungry? There's my buddy Dave. <laughs> Let's see how Dave's doing. Rust on the inside. Yeah, it's got rust know. on the inside. Look but, at Dave down. I think there's a uh, loop wire. That's what I think. There's a wire, but I don't. The outside doesn't have any rust on it at all. It'll be interesting. Yeah. It's still. It's pretty. It you probably know. gave you a little heart attack when it came out. Well. God, that sounded so good. It was a piece of stainless steel. <laughs> Seems like once you get pa like once you get past like over here, it just it's all iron. You're going, you know, that going north. I think this is our area, Dave. Boy, this is small. Oh, I think it's an earring. Yeah, it is a little earring. Might be silver, actually. I think it might be silver. There you go. Little, little blingy earring. Yeah, pretty sure that is silver. Pretty certain. There you go. All right, here is the first wrap up. Uh, I got some uh, plastic bottle caps as always. I got a stay fresh cap. Those always sound great. This little guy is uh, some sort of an aluminum packet. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's going to go in the garbage. Got a little bit of iron, a little bit of a, both a junk aluminum and, you know, just some sort of pot metal. Got some uh, brass and copper screws and just a whole lot of little this is and that's. It's funny, I was um, talking to somebody the other day and trying to figure out how many targets I've probably dug in the last 15 years that I've been uh, metal detecting and it's kind of crazy because you think every single one of these little things is a target um, that gets dug. So it's a lot of digging when you think about it. 
Um, on the semi good side of things, I got the seashell, which I just think is cool. Um, that'll go in my garden for sure. Really nice, big seashell. Um, kind of be cool to put all my little knickknacks like that in there, huh? Little sea glass. Got a couple pieces of sea glass. Um, I did get a part of a key. I got stainless steel watch back. Um, I thought I already read the name of it, but I can't see it right now, but I'll try to look that up in a little bit. Shotgun head stamp. Always wild finding those on the beach. That area used to be a hunting area way back when, so maybe that's uh, you know where it came from. Maybe it came out uh, from the hunting area. All right, I got one dime, two nickels, and seven unspendable zinc pennies, so... Not much in the way of coins. I did get this little piece of bling. Um, it is just a copper backing, so I know it's absolute junk, but it sparkles. Yeah, sparkly sparkle. If it was a diamond, it'd be really cool, but it's not. It's just uh, some sort of junk. All right, here's wrap-up number two. Got a little bit of aluminum, a little bit of a uh, scrap flat uh, iron. I did get uh, some state brush caps, the old Starbucks, um, you know, a, I don't know, hot coffee protector thing that is like a stir stick that are all over the beaches. Really bums me out. Starbucks, come on guys, let's work on it. Um, I did get a watch. Uh, it's funny, a jogger said, oh, you know, I found a, or a guy walking in the sock, I can't remember. Said, hey, uh, I, found, I saw a watch back there. So I walked back and sure enough, there was a watch. Uh, it's full of water. Um, I did get a head. Um, I got a head. There you go. That was funny. Uh, it looks like it's been bitten um, and it does have some tar on it. Uh, I did get a condom in the wrapper, thank goodness. That'll also go in the garbage, obviously. Got a couple pull tabs and this one is just weird. Look at that thing. Just bizarre. Couple of little scrap pieces of copper. I did get one really kind of cool green sea glass. I'm gonna put that on my big seashell. Um, I got this, which is a bracelet, but it's uh, it is junk. It's just a uh, copper or you know brass plated. I think at one point in time. And then lastly, I got this, and I'll tell you, I was looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know. It was really tarnished, but I had a bracelet I found not too long ago that was a uh, gold and it was actually brown. And then I saw that the, I don't know if you can see that, but the, if you look at the actual, um, you know, part that goes in your ear, it, it is definitely gold colored. And so uh, I actually cleaned it up a little bit. I tested it, it is 10 karat gold. So the beach had my gold. There you go, a little bit of gold, not much. If you guys are interested in uh, the products I use on the beach, I do use uh, CKG Sand Scoop most of the time. Uh, I also use a gold pull tab sand scoop sometimes, and I also use Tony Eisenhower waterproof headphones pretty much all of the time. So if you're interested in any of those products, um, go ahead and go to the description of this video. It is in there, and uh, direct links to all of their websites and Tony's email. All right, a lot of people have asked me how to get a Pirate Mike t-shirt, and for a long time I was trying to you know, ship them from here, and oftentimes I didn't order enough to have the right sizes for people, and it was getting just cost prohibitive, and the shipping was crazy expensive, and um, so I did uh, get to a point where, and also my printer said he couldn't make the small batches I was ordering, so um, I did set it up where you can go directly on to our um I did set it up where you can directly link from all my videos to uh, Spring. And Spring uh, has all sorts of cool stuff, like check my coffee out. Pretty cool. Um, and you can get all the stuff on the Spring site. And uh, I will try to set up a link where you guys can uh, just go ahead and click at the end of the video. But if I don't have that up soon, just know that all the videos do have a link to the uh, shirts. If you have problems finding it, go ahead and put it in the comment and I'll uh, see if I can get you a direct link to it. Hey guys, Pirate Mike here. Just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea why I do this, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I stick it in my eye. Again, I sure hope you like my channel and thank you again for watching and for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it.
really love it if you guys would subscribe. You can just click on my head right here, or you can watch either of these two videos.